How are earthquakes and volcanoes formed in the Eastern Caribbean? The Earth's crust is made up of huge slabs of rock called tectonic plates. The region where two or more plates meet is called a plate boundary. Chains of volcanoes can form along certain plate boundaries and most earthquakes occur in these areas. At these plate boundaries, the plates interact with each other in different ways. At transform boundaries, plates slide past each other. At divergent boundaries, plates spread apart. And at convergent boundaries, plates move toward each other with both crumpling or one dipping beneath the other. Tectonic plates are constantly moving, but their movement is neither smooth nor continuous. They often get stuck together, causing a buildup of energy. When the plates eventually move out of this locked position, the energy that is released may be felt as an earthquake. A convergent plate boundary can form a subduction zone. This is what happens at the eastern boundary of the Caribbean plate. The North American plate is denser than the Caribbean plate. This causes the North American plate to sink beneath the Caribbean plate, creating suitable conditions for magma to be produced. The volcanic islands of the region have been formed through countless eruptions from submarine volcanoes over millions of years. They all started as submarine volcanoes before reaching the surface. This process is called subduction and is responsible for the formation of the volcanic islands of the Eastern Caribbean.